Yes, so I know my mic is on if anyone's interested. We are going to wait it out until 12.15, my time. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I'm wrong. Sorry. 19.15, I'm a loser. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so, f I think I'm so freaking clever. All right, we will still wait till the time. And I could do some audio banter here if anyone wants. Um, and oh, there, someone has, uh, someone is here. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Oh, I keep saying that because I, as though you couldn't see the chat, which you can, although technically we haven't started yet. So I'll just banter some. Banter, banter, banter. I think banter, maybe it's a bantam, is like a female bird or something. I don't really know. What are the real questions of life? Is What is a banter? What is a bantam? How do I kill eight seconds more? And why do I bother to do this when I realize it's not really enough time for anyone to watch, come watch the stream? I don't know. Hello and welcome to the stream, Fierce Crocodile. Um, that's great to hear that you're learning a little, for those who don't know. Uh, Fierce Crocodile uh, is learning about a uh, geometry and, uh, actually I forgot, what you're, surface and geometry. Or you can correct me on that if you want. Uh, the plan for today, I wish I'd written it down, as always. Um, the, okay, and I actually fixed this. Um, I mounted BC Git pages as a, um, as a sim link, not as a, uh, not as a separate directory. Uh, it appears that Replit cannot push and pull from my Git, so we've done that test. Um, and I, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and finish our post to stack for waypoints. Then I'm going to go back to the uh, Jovian Lunar Eclipses. I will need to post a disclaimer saying my program does not catch the, uh, the Lunar Eclipse of 2022 or 2021. Well, I mean, I don't know which one it is. Um, so you may not want to trust it, but then I'm going to send a letter to NASA that says, uh, I don't think this is a total eclipse, or at least uh, it's very, very close to not being a total eclipse. And explain that, you buffoons. Probably won't call them buffoons, though. Um, and, and they might be right, actually. So anyway, so let's go ahead and look at our, our post here. Um, if we can find it. Oh, and then another thing we might want to do today is... Um, we might want to look at deriving the formula for if you're our way around a great circle. I'll actually put this on our list. Uh, no, that's a no. Um, oh, actually, it's right here. Post simpler. Okay, so we're going to try to derive the closed form formula again, but this time our goal is to post it to Mathematica and say, simplify this because Mathematica won't, you buffoons. Once again, we will not refer to them as buffoons. Uh, the only time it is appropriate to refer to someone t as buffoons is here posting the physics stack exchange because all the moderators there are in fact buffoons. Okay, let's go back to our answer uh, that we were going to write up. I might want to change it a little bit, but I think it's in spirit it's accurate. Oh, where the god damn this is a long file. I god I thought I talked a lot, but apparently I also write a freaking lot. All right. Um. Oh, it's not in Read Me Stream, I'm sorry. It's going to be in B BC Geodesic. That's why I couldn't find it. Um, okay. Now, there's some other things I want to mention here that I want to put on my to-do list. I can't, not going to put them in directly, but... Um, no, okay. Uh, I want to mention turf.js, because I think if I'd started with turf... Whoa! It's changed on the... Okay, there we go. I've reloaded it now. Are you happy? And because I reloaded it, it now thinks it's a uh, Objective-C code, which it is not. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. What do I need? Yeah, I want to mention TurfJS. Uh, among other things I want to mention, uh, I want to mention that this probably could be done better with TurfJS. Okay, so let's see. This is not an answer. Very basic, simple, which computes. Uh, source code, the source code does, and I'll the source code. The code is entirely plain. So if you download it, you okay. And I think we're going to put it here. Um, okay. Should be fairly... That's a lie, of course. Um, yeah, I think it's going to put it down here. Um, I discovered turf.js, and I need to put a link to it, which I think is turfjs.org, but 
Uh, don't quote me. It is truckjs.org. Uh, fairly early in the process, um, fairly early in the process is fine, but didn't realize how powerful it was until later. My code could doubtless be rewritten much better with turf.js. Now I could put in something here that um, says if you want to do this contact me but I, I think no one's actually going to do this. Okay, uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and post the link to YouTube. Um, I live streamed my attempt to solve this problem and the recordings are available at and now we get to visit my YouTube channel. Aren't we all excited? Uh, let's see where I would, where would be right here. Now hopefully this is not going to expose anything I don't want exposed about myself. No! It's all a lie! Oh, I'm not even signed in yet. Never mind. Um, let's, let's, oh, this is not good. This is... Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. So instead, I mean, I don't really need it because we're, we're giving it to somebody else. Um, BC Coding YouTube channel. I'm so smart. Um, oh no, I want it for this one because it's my channel. It's my channel and I'll cry if I want to. Wow. I suck that badly. Wow. Um, I guess I'll put my name in there. Ooh. So I really can't... God damn. Well, maybe I'll go to YouTube and search for myself. That's probably a little bit easier. Um... Um... Wow! I suck! Oh, let's actually search for BC Coding, which is the name of the mention. Yay, there it is! Everyone applaud! Yay! Okay. Uh, I want to view the full playlist. I don't want to play anything yet, because it's not going to work, for one thing. And then I want to say which videos it is. Uh, oh, I actually need to, give this, um, need to give this URL. That's what's important. That's the part we actually need. Um, um, and then I'm gonna, I hope the numbers stay constant, because if they don't, I'm really fucking this guy over. Uh, which, I, which usually I'd be okay with, but you know. Uh, National Centers of Population, Interpolation, Creating Orb JS. Jesus Christ, I'm wordy. Oh, does this not have a. Oh, Jovian Lunar Eclipses, so that's not it. OpenStreetMap. I think I actually got into this fairly late. Um, and this is just an amazing amount of crap. Um. This might be too much crap, actually. Jesus Christ. I am a loser. Um, maybe I should have ordered the list backwards. Um, okay, here we go. 63. And then I'll also put in, you know, I'll mention that there are, of course, the ones that say... Um, uh, actually... Um... Oh, all the way to 72. Okay. I.E. Those that mention... Oh, what the hell did they mention? Waypoints for sure. Waypoints, geography, or minimum great circle. Geography um, or Great Circle. I'm hesitant, no, I'm not really hes hesitant to post this link, comma, because in addition to the usual um, worthlessness of my videos, I spent a lot of time trying to find a closed form 
closed form. A closed form form that's fine. Closed form formula sounds weird, but I think it's okay. It's been a lot of time trying to find a closed form formula um, for the dist for distance along for points along a great circle. Though I eventually succeeded. Um, the resulting 250 plus line formula is extremely ugly. And now, because I've said that, I have to kind of post it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, no, you know what? We're not going to. We're go <laughs> it is, is far too ugly for, for use. Which actually leaves it ambiguous as to whether it's just ugly or it's slow, but it's also inefficient. Okay. Proof of concept. Okay, yeah, we're good. This is good. Um, I think we need to ma make a mention here. Um, the uh, file above only includes FAA. Um, th there's actually a name for these things. Facilities. Uh, which are pretty much limited to the United States. Now, I'm going to show how smart I am, though this does include the American Samoa, Guam. I'm going to say etc. There we need three for etc. American Samoa, Guam, um, etc. That's fine. Um, uh, so once, a comma, once you get away from the United States, uh, the nearest, the stations nearest to waypoints, the nearest stations can be quite far away. If you have a better list, if anyone, if you or anyone has a better list I can use, I would be happy to update stations my code yeah there we go that's our disclaimer there that's our um came okay. so this is actually an error in the code um so i'm going to put this here before i talk about turf js um because my code finds the closest FAA facility to a given waypoint, to a given equally, uh, I don't want to say equidistant, it sometimes repeats facilities. It sometimes yields, that's a much better word, the same FAA facility for two or more waypoints. Booyah! Um, this is especially true for flights um, uh, outside of the United States, which doesn't really say anything, but that's good enough. It's all code is available. You can open source report it. Point to where the Git is. I think I've done that right. If I haven't, it's not really good. There it is. La 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 la. It's a single page app. You can do everything you want. Okay, so now we have the big question. What is missing from this answer? And and the problem is I'll probably find it afterwards, which is, that's okay though. Um, and I'm hoping that, uh, uh, this is baiting, I'm baiting. I'm hoping that someone's going to ask about the ugly formula, because I really kind of want to post it. Uh, but I also really want someone to a answer it. Uh, so notes for answer, we're done with that. Let's see if there's any other notes that I have here. Notes, well, okay. Let's go, oh, this is be a, so let me go to read me stream and if, see if there's any notes. Or note. Blah, nope. Any note in here, except for the one we want. Oh, oh hang on. Note normality, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, all right. If anybody has a reason, if anyone knows of any good reason, this code, this answer should not be posted to Stack Exchange. Please, uh, just, you know, whatever. 
Okay. So let's go to Stack Exchange. Here it is. And, ooh, am I going to answer a question that has no answer? I am fucking awesome. I am fucking awesome. Uh, and awesome doesn't like it, so I think she's going to stop. Um, number 62 to 65. <laughs> All right. Hang on, hang on. I want to see if I got that one in there. 62 to 72. I'm going to have to mention 62 because I already mentioned it. Um, let me see what 62 was that I didn't quite get in there. Oh, it is a great circle path. I should have included it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That was an Abed impression for you there. Alrighty. Have you ever, when you're posting something, there should be a name for this. The feeling you get when you've worked on an answer, you've completed it, you think you've got everything, but then just before you post it, you feel that you've missed something huge. Like, I mean, like, you've, like, 90% of the answer is wrong or something. Um... I don't mean just that you may have missed some minor point, but like you totally didn't answer the question or misunderstood the question. Um, is that it? That is it. Escape W, and then paste Rama. And I think I was good about uh, not breaking my lines. So let's take a look. Now, even though we checked it yesterday, I like to check my links before I some of my links before I get, not all of them. Um, no! God damn it, no! Go back! Damn it. Okay, that's the git. Oh yeah, this is where I actually, you can actually do it. So... Yeah, it's, it's crappy, but I say it's crappy. Which makes it okay. Uh, listen, there's not an answer, blah, 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 Go fuck yourself. Okay. Not, I should say the previous link, but, um, I don't think I care. Alrighty, so now we have demeaned ourselves and posted this. Now, let's get funky. Actually, I'm going to do something really quickly that I should be doing later. I want to see if the, the fact that, no, actually, I do need to do that later. Stellarium, when it shows, uh, when there's a lunar eclipse on a planet other than Earth, it does not dim the satellite that is being eclipsed. I don't know if that's a known issue. If it is, that's not a huge deal. But if it isn't, I need to file a bug report. That or a feature request, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now let's go over to our friends at Mathematica. I mean, we're going to be asking this question, so we don't really need to go there yet. Um, but I want to see what people have said about the Great Circle. Chromatic number, how to draw a Great Circle on a sphere... 50 results. That's quite a few. Um, oh, equally, this is actually really good too. Equally spaced points. Um, yep, there's enough questions here to make me think I might need to add the word closed form. Um, Did I write this answer? I'm always worried that I wrote an answer and then will ask a question about the same thing, but I did not. Uh, since any great circle can be parameterized where u and v are two orthonormal vectors, uh, one can start with... Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So what they're saying is instead of finding the normal vector to your two points, you start off with uh, normal vectors at the origin, which, which are obviously the x and y axes, and then you rotate them to match the two points, but that doesn't quite work because um, that means your two points... Oh, actually, no, it still works. Um, okay. Okay. Static solution. Oh, my God. Okay. God damn it. These people are smart. Oh, we're still doing parametric plot, though, so they're, they're, they're still a little bit off from what I want to do. This is probably not changeable here. It's probably have to go click on it or something. Uh, it's a Mathematica demonstration. Um, um, God damn it. That's really looking those are still geometric you know what I'm gonna have to uh, fuck with this damn it uh, 
Okay. I might have to reference these, actually. But, let's see. Great circle. Closed form. I think closed form might actually be a tag. Okay. So let me see if closed form is a tag. Because it, it might be. Um... Uh, oh wow, they even have tags actually someplace where people can find it. Closed. Form. New. No. Okay. Great. No. Um, oh, actually, should I do my name? But this should be doing a search. They are smart, I know. Bugs me. Um, it's geography, but I don't know if they're going to actually keep that. Oh, wow. Apparently, they, they do think of geography as a, as a, a topic. So geography and inside geography, I want to filter further to, um, uh, crap. Closed form. Closed form should be a freaking tag. Okay. And I've got a disclaim that I know this question's been asked before, kind of. Let's see if this is the <laughs> equally spaced. Okay. God damn. Um... God damn it. Someone has solved this, I think. Um, uh, slurping. They've created a name for it. Um, um, okay. Um, god damn it. Fast spherical linear interpolation of... Well, that's not what I want, though. I don't understand what that is. Okay, here we go. So for now, that's... Uh... That's still an interpolation, though. That's not what I want. The idea is quite simple. Yeah, of course it's quite... The idea is quite simple, you fucking morons. Um, alright. Great circle. Getting a little angry there. Closed form. Let's see what that does again. God damn it. Is it closed form? Ugh. Let's say geography closed form. I know, I'm, I'm reaching now. Okay. Now sometimes when you type in what you're good at your question's title is going to be, it gives you a bunch of solutions. So, um, um, so we already have one. Simpler closed form for points on, for spherical coordinates of points on a great, on great circle. I think that's, we don't really need to do that. Um, um, I mean, I could say of sphere here, but I mean, that's kind of stupid. Chromatic number, equally spaced point, my god. Okay, I think I do want to see some of these, but I do want to see the word closed. Because uh, that is the... Uh, not quite what we're doing. Confirm a nice close... For what? You idiot. Okay, I'm tempted now to see what the hell that is. Well, these are all closed forms, but they don't have frickin' great circle in them, you frickin' frickin' fricks. Okay. It's time for Cocoa Krispies. They're so chocolatey. Alright, but it's time to go ahead and write this question up. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we'll make some notes here. We'll, we always make the wine note first because everyone on the internet hates you and will tell you that the question's already been answered. Um, and others. So this is just reminding me, and with typos, that I need to mention the other solutions and say they don't do what I want. Now I know you're saying, hey, you didn't look really carefully to see if they didn't do what you want, but I'm just going to say that, so it sounds like I've looked at them. Now the short version of this question is going to be, how to 
simplify and I'll be clever and you, ah, maybe I won't be that clever. This expression given these conditions. And then to do, put conditions and expression here. And then de longer version, I won't say detailed, longer version, I'm gonna be nice to myself. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually type out the answer, the question as we do the math, we're that good. Okay, given two points on the unit sphere identified by longitude and latitude, and I'm going to say uh, theta A, phi A, uh, theta B, phi B, like totally phi B, that was a horrible impression of phi B. I apologize to Lisa Kudrow, who's not watching this. Um, now that's, I'm just doubly making it clear. Um, can we can find, we can parameterize the great circle passing through them as follows. Um, convert the vectors to spherical form. Really? Spherical coordinates. Vectors? Convert the point. Thank you. Convert the points to spherical coordinates. Oh, we don't actually need to do that yet. Um, Oh, yes, we do, because we're going to take two. No, convert the points to Cartesian coordinates. That's why I was being confused. These are in spherical coordinates. Um, um, I don't think I want to say A and B. Um, but I will say it here. Given two points A and B on the unit sphere, identified by longitude, latitude, yielding, beautiful word. Now, the clever bit hi here is I'm not even going to mention my... Um, SPH to spherical coordinates thingamajiggy. Um, because uh, because that's not a standard mathematic. There is a mathematical function that does it called coordinate transform. Crap. Now now I kind of have to find it. Um, uh, oh wow. Um, shiny. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do it this way, because otherwise they're going to whine at me for not using the right tools. Um, so I'm not spherical to polar actually. Okay, so now I have another problem. I'm pretty sure that uh, Mathics doesn't support uh, this fancy function. Um, what is the fancy function again? Coordinate transfer. I'm almost sure math mathics won't have it. That's a pretty beefy function there. Yep, it doesn't. Barely has anything with that. Okay. So my choices here are You know what? I think I'm gonna do what I should have done in the first place here. Um, um I think what this whole thing's gonna be uh in 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 code. Not a secret code, in Mathematica code. Um, and this way we can get rid of this uh, also. I don't want to necessarily parameterize that. Um, um, first, or forced, convert yielding. Now I have a comment inside a comment here, but that's okay because I'm not really doing anything with it. Um, so, and I think I'm going to do this. Now I need to use Wolfram Cloud for this because Mathics is not going to handle this. Um, 
La, 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 la. And I should be able to share one of my Wolfram clouds. I don't know how I do that though. God damn it! Why did I get signed out? I'm gonna have to remember my freaking password again. Man, stand by. Okay, so my my um, email, which you guys can all have, is this one, and my password. And do remember me, piece of crap. Is this? It's little circles. My password is actually a bunch of little circles. No one ever guesses that. Okay. Well, screw you. Okay. That better be freaking correct. I'm not happy. All right, hang on. Oops. <laughs> That's the password for a different account I have. Not that I have two accounts, because that would be wrong. Um. Oh, come on. What the fuck is my password for that? Oh, God. It might be my standard password, which I really should stop using. Oh, that was bad. I really, really need to stop using that password. Uh, I couldn't find a way to actually update my password, but let's see if they're... My account, preferences... It would either be under preferences or my... Well, probably under my account. Um, shiny. And... Plan details. I have 105,000 cloud credits. That is awesome. Uh, so this tells me, this is free by the way, you can get this for free. Um, obviously they're doing it to, to you know, to, uh, to, uh, so basically now I've, I've diverted from what we were doing twice to see if we can, um, oh, you can update your password. Okay, I'll make a note to do that. Uh, I didn't think, I mean, I knew you could, I just couldn't find it. Alright, now let's go back to me. Tell me more stuff about me. Oh, is that where I am right now? That's not helpful. Uh, Cloud.wolfram.com is where I want to be. Um, uh, let me see if there's a way to... Sh I'll go ahead and create a new notebook. Getting, using, asking, fucking, who gives a shit? Getting rid of this p piece of shit fox. This guy's like the paperclip, but for this. Now, let me see. Oh, I can share. Okay, awesome. So, we will be sharing this as soon as we can. And now, I am torn between doing my work in Emacs. Actually, I think I can just cut and paste. So, I think I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, let's, let's go this way. So, point A, yo mama, what the hell? equals coordinate transform of spherical, good deal, it knows what spherical is, to, um, what the fuck, uh, Cartesian. Well, that's not actually too bad, I kind of like that. Um, theta A, phi A, and 1. Run that for me, you bitch. Yeah. Not what I wanted. And in fact... I don't think that's what anyone wanted. Okay. So first problem. It, it knows what spherical coordinates are, but it doesn't know how to... doesn't know how I'm going to put them. Now let me see if I can be really clever here and see if it'll give me a help. It will not. Let's just do an F1 here. Coordinate transform. Or a blank page. That's very good, you know, very helpful. Sometimes it helps to meditate on a blank page. Piece of shit. Uh, coordinate transform F1. There we go. Okay, let's just see how they think spherical coordinates should... Um, details. Um... 
coordinate transform is effectively the equivalent to threads over blah 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 scope oh here it is spherical to Cartesian ah good so they do it in the way that's the most possible confusing way radius um, something something I think that's radius theta phi but let's see um, Uh, this is really bad. Because I don't see how the hell you get to this from this. I mean... Yeah, screw it. I'm going to use my own spherical to XYZ f function, which I do not have here. This is good. We're, we're just... Um, we get sort of stuck in the water right away. All right, and I'm going to use my own spherical, and I'm going to use Mathix for it, because that might be the one use that math the Mathix actually has. There we go. Okay, 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 because I didn't have to redo that. Theta A, phi A, 1. Ta-da! And now I can paste this into Mr. Wolfram Cloud. Okay. Now you think this would be good enough. You think this would be... This is why I should be happy. I want to see what coordinate transform it really wanted and then maybe I'll end up using that backwards. This is like... This is so bad I don't have words for it. Um, we know this is wrong. I'm just doing it to, to sort of establish a, a base. Okay, so that's... What? The actual fuck. Minimize suggestions bar. Get rid of suggestions bar. This should be... Oh yes, because... Probably I should have said... Cartesian, not Cartesian. Cartesian. Cartesian was a other guy who just really. All right. Um, so I think they are using radius first. I think that much I can. I'm down with. Um, but I think they're using like the co-latitude or something. Okay. Cosine phi. Oh come on. Sine. Sine. Um. So they're using the co-latitude because they're fucking morons. So we'll do this, and this should give us the same answer, but I'm not going to... Uh Interesting. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I think I have them backwards. I think they want... But I still think it's not going to work. But I think they want the phi coordinate first, the theta coordinate. And then... Viola, we have the wrong thing. Because I'm almost sure this is pi over 2 minus. And there we go. That would have been the correct way to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it that way. That would have been the mathematically, not the mathematically. We're fine. What we're doing is correct. Um, uh, Phoebe, Phoebe. Uh, but it would have been the Mathematica built-in function way to do it. Um, but it can go suck itself. And here, I'm going to be really nasty, intentionally not using coordinate transform uh, because it has weird order. Nope, if I do that, I'm going to get in trouble. Someone's going to say, uh, don't complain about coordinate transform. <laughs> and that's how they talk, by the way. Um, okay. Um, find the cross product. Um, a non-unit vector. Um, not necessarily unit vector. Perpendicular to both. Okay. Perp. <laughs> it's funny. Um, 
across point A, point B. So not, not nothing too difficult yet. Yeah, so it'd be better if I'd actually, um, you know, spell them correctly. But that's that's kind of a trivial issue, I think. All right, point A, point B. Um. Okay, that's fine. Let me, since I'm going to be an asshole about all of this, let me. Um. All of our variables. Our angles with thetas, with longitudes limited to plus minus pi, and latitudes limited to plus minus pi over 2. Okay. So our cons are going to be, I've done this like a million times, minus pi over 2, oh hang on, let's do this in the right order. Minus pi is less than theta a, minus pi, theta a is less than pi, minus pi is less than, no, 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 theta b, theta b is less than pi, um, minus pi over 2 is less than phi a, and phi a is less than pi over 2, and your mama, um, minus pi over 2 is less than phi b, and phi b is less than pi over 2. I think I got those right. If I didn't, I'm going to be in trouble, because then the simplification will fail for another reason. Um, I don't know if Mathematica lets you do, like, minus pi less than theta a less than pi, which would be a lot easier. Uh, but I think I've nailed this. Good deal. We're going to need that later. Okay. Um, okay, and I think I do want to, do I? Actually, I don't. I'm trying to see what I, what, how much of this I really want to print and not print. Um, find the vector perp and particular to perp and point A. So technically I'm confusing points and vectors, but they, I think they will accept that because they understand what I'm doing. Uh, which lies in the same plane as A and B. Okay. That's going to be cross perp. Oh, hang on. Fuck. The, the issue here is um, I want the vector to go from A to B. Okay, so hang on. Fucking cross products over here. And it's got to be... Um, never happy with this, the cross product of, I think the perp vector has to come first here. I think. Um, the order of the cross product is chosen so that the parameterization I will do later goes from A to B. Um, yeah, that's, that's true. It doesn't really make any sense, but... Whoa! Are you right? It does have no closing thing would you be. Closing thing would you be. Happy now? Okay. Now... You know what? Because they're going to ask me why am I not simplifying it every step. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, now they're going to ask me why I don't simpl full simplify each step, but I'm not going to answer that question. Um, at each step, 
to make things easier. That that's so vague. I mean, I, I know what I mean. I'm sure they know what I mean, but um, and that doesn't really simplify. Um, and I'll even be show how smart I am. Although many of these simplifies, although some, so not many, some of these simplifies will have no effect. I am so awesome. Okay, and then we were pretty happy with that. So, now one thing they're going to ask me to do, and they're going to be SOBs about, is the version number. Even though it doesn't really matter. Um, so I need to kind of, and I probably need to change this to say, can you not say to reduce the number of term? Uh, explain a little bit more. and using Wolfram Cloud. So this is some input output we actually need to specify because the people in Mathematica get all whiny about it. Okay, and then I'm going to try to suppress all the output until the very end except for the... Um, oh, wow. That's interesting. It doesn't realize I'm using the cloud. Okay. Okay. Um, normalize the planar vector. Planar norm equals planar over norm planar. This is where it gets ugly. This is where you are, it's going to get, this is where we start hitting bullshit like this. <sighs> and I don't think it's going to simplify, to be honest. Yeah. So this is where we start getting into the serious bullshittiness of this. Um... The angular distance between A and B. Someone's going to probably fuck me for not making these functions of A and B, um, which they are, but I think I'm okay with that. Okay. So the simplification model does not affect the equation of the simplification of the this. Wow, that's one hell of a sentence. Um, I'm, I want to affect the equation because what I'm asking them for is a simple form. Um, and Mathematica sometimes has trouble. If you give it the big, nasty equation and say simplify, there's a chance it'll work. But if you simplify at each step, you're trying to keep the simplest possible thing uh, so Mathematica has the least amount of work to do. Uh, but so you mean something else. So go ahead and tell me what you mean. Try it again. If you want, we can do a Discord call on it. I think I figured that out. I'm so smart. Oh, we did. We actually did do a Discord call earlier. And someone even was able to hear us, so that's, that's pretty cool. So angular distance is... Uh, I'm going to regret this, because this is also just the dot... That's good. Let's do that way. I'm hoping to give a closed form formula. Oh, motherfucker. This time, Simplify will actually do something. Just you're writing it to make it sound nice. I still okay. Good. This is actually is the uh, this actually is the uh, correct formula here. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I I get the feeling you're trying to say something more, and I'm not comprehending it. Um, 
So I, I, I realize I, I'm oversimplifying what I'm saying here. Um, but so keep trying to con tr keep trying to figure out what the hell I I figure out a way to move it into my brain. Um, the um, parameterization, distance preserving parameterization of um, um, the great circle from A to B. I maybe should have done this in the, in the previous step. In fact, I think, yeah, in fact, this is actually still part of this. Okay, the distance point, ooh, 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 I gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Okay, uh, point T equals um, planar norm times cosine T plus, nope, I left that up, point A times cosine T plus uh, planar norm times sine of T. And if that's correct, I should now be able to print out point zero better be point A. If it's not, we're in trouble. Um, yeah, that's point A. And once again, I am going to simplify. I don't think this simplifies, to be honest. Okay. Motherfucker. That's the simplified version. Um, okay. And now point one is actually going to be, um, well, point two times pi is also going to be A because we, we go into a full circle here. Um, yes, good, awesome. Point B is not going to be the perpendicular from this because we don't know that it is perpendicular. However, what the hell did I just do? Oh, I just did nothing. Uh, point and dist should be point B. And this is where we're going to see a very motherfucker. So point and dist, I'm going to simplify that using our conditions, and this is point B. Unless it's fucked up something so badly, uh, but the point is, uh, oh shit, see this is, this is where it gets ugly. It might not know that this is point B. Just your introductory notes at the beginning of the Wolfram file, since your initial question formulation sounded so smooth. Okay. Um, okay, so, so what about that? What, well, how does that pertain to what we're doing? Um, okay, so this is bad. It either means I made a mistake in the direction, okay, which if I did, the minus ang just will be the correct answer. It'll give me point B. But the, the thing I fear here is it's much worse than this. It's just th this doesn't know this is this is uh, point B. That's the uh, that's the problem. Um, and it would be really nice if we could convince at least ourselves that this is actually correct. So um, just like motherfucker, this is pain in the ass. Um, and I'm pretty sure that if, if you, oh, actually, we're not, we're not in spherical coordinates yet. Um, yeah, so I'm unhappy now. Okay, so how do we test this? Um, point T, simplified one, okay. So the, th okay, here's how we test it. Um, we're going to take two random points. We've got to be careful because they have to be on the um, they have to be on the unit sphere. Random real. How do I do this? Speak unto me, random real. Um, okay. I probably don't care what the range is here. Oh, do I have to give a range if I'm going to um? 
if I'm going to use the second parameter. Okay. Um, so this is going to be someone, this is not a, um, I don't think this is uniformly spaced. So if someone's going to ding me on that. Um, and there's a problem with these, but I, I'm going to get to it in a sec. The problem with these is they don't have norm 1. Um, and the other problem with these is I can't actually put over here divided by random real because it'll give me different random numbers. So R1, this is terrible. Actually, you know what? It's so terrible, I'm not going to do it. R01, R, this is probably even worse, equals R01 over norm R01. So this will be the unit vector R2 equals R02 over, this part is probably not going to be part of the answer. Okay, a question from set seed. Uh, no. I know what you're saying, the random seed, so you get the same type of random numbers. I'm not going to put this in the answer. This is for my personal benefit to make sure that when I send it, I haven't done something really stupid. Um, unless they watch this video, I want to convince the Mathematica people uh, that I have come up with this on my own. If it doesn't work, then I'll need to worry about that. Okay, so now we have two unit vectors on the sphere. that for some reason, if I do it again, they should be different numbers. Good. Okay. So now I should be able to say, i be a little bit careful because I have been sloppy with functions here. And, um, and, and this is, this is where it's going to come back to bite me. Um, Uh, fuck. This is where it's going to be a pain. Um. Okay, so this is where I kind of... So I said point A and point B were going to be this, which is fine. Um. Yeah. So I, I was trying to be clever by avoiding functions. Uh, but you can't do that. So we actually do have to make this perp of point A, comma, point B. It has to take two points, do that. I don't even know if that's going to work because, actually I think it will, actually it will. Um, planar, um, this actually only involves point A, um, Yep, this, this is, this is, I should have seen this coming. Um, although PTB is not necessary as an argument to this function, I am including it, oh it is actually. Lies, all lies. Okay, so then this is probably going to screw up everything because I, I really, really should not have tried to be done this shortcut. Okay, so the planar norm, so that's the vector that is perpendicular that lies in the same plane. And this is the planar norm, and this is also going to be of PT. And I hope it doesn't complain that I'm redefining variables because it it shouldn't. PTA, PTB, over norm of planar of PTA, PT fucking B. Um, given the conditions we had before. Okay. Point T between PTA and PTB. The simplified point is, that's fine, cosine T plus planar norm of PTA, PTB, times sine T, subject to our conditions. Okay. The angular distance between A and B, which is going to be a function of PTA and PTB. Okay, so this is really the correct way to do it, because these are all really functions. I was just being sloppy. 
Um, but now, because now I can do this. Um, so I want I do want to print out these points. And honestly, I don't know if I need that because it's just the vector angle. Um, uh, okay, I could probably avoid using an other, other variable here, but we're going to do it. So now I can say, what, give me the angular distance between R1 and R2. Print it out. Oh, 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 oh. Has no closing bracket. Well, show me where that is, you idiot. Okay, don't show me where it is. Um, I'm missing a closing bracket here somewhere. Um, okay, well, where is it? It's planar. It's where I simplify planar. And that's actually why this thing got indented, I think. Uh, simplify. So is this a bad bracket? No, that's okay. Have I messed something up here? Simplify. Cross. Perp. Planar. Norm of... Oh, norm of planar of PTPA. I think I need to close off my norm. There. Whoa! Not like that. Over norm of planar of PTA, PTP. So I've got something else wrong here. Um, planar of that over the its own norm. And then... Oh, now I think it's actually... I think it's happy now. Let's see. Simplify. Planar of it over norm. Planar of it... Conditions. I think that's correct. I, I fear that it may not be. Okay, well... Whoa, 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 whoa. It actually worked, but it's unhappy with me. And the only thing you can think of that is somehow picking up my, um, my old stuff here. Um, I'm still not really happy with that, though. Whoa. Yeah, see here where it says the angular distance is phi A, phi B, all this crap? Um, I need to clear all my variables. Um... Although, honestly, this... I'm not happy. This should clear my variables for me. Again, do this again, you stupid piece of crap. Okay? Yep, it's unhappy. Uh, oh! Okay, hang on. I should be able to get away with this. Um, I mean, the point A and point B are both functions of theta A and, you know, uh, of these variables here. Um, but I should not have to do that. I should be able to just... Um, um, I should just be able to, to, to use them as, as vectors. Um, planar defined is that... Oh, here, here's why. <laughs> This is a function. I am a moron. Okay. Let's see what this does now. If it complains again, it sounds like it's going to complain again. Yep. Am I reusing a variable incorrectly? Uh, alright, that would be... In a norm. All of this should... I mean, they're, they are all functions of phi A, phi B, but that shouldn't really matter. Uh, tag list is pretty... They, they, they think I'm trying to overwrite something that's already defined. And perp, planar, planar norm, point... Is point already defined? I don't think so. Um, angular distance, okay, unhappiness. 
Okay, so let's, um... Okay, let's go and comment out a large... Well, you know what, let's, let's see. If it's having problems with all these functions... Um, this, I should not have to do this. Um, so this is bad. But maybe it's trying to preserve the old definition of phi A and phi B, so... Okay, still unhappy. Tell me more about this. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to start commenting out code. It's time to comment your code out. I wonder if you can't define um, functions on lists. No, we, we can't, because we're, we're actually instantiating our lists. Oh, fuck. We are not instantiating our lists. Um, because this is an arbitrary function, and I'm pretty sure you can't define arbitrary functions um, on lists. So this this is probably why it's unhappy with me. I will test my theory by doing print before, and then a print after. And I probably should do something in the middle, otherwise it'd be kind of anticlimactic. Um, Uh, define foo of, of L, yep, I'm almost sure this is going to fail now, as being uh, reverse of L. And this is, and I need to put a little thing there. This isn't going to let me do this because um, you can't do this with lists. So I have pretty much hosed myself. Um, yep. Oh. That's a different error than I expected. Shiny. Okay. But I think the problem is I'm trying to perform operations on lists. Um, by defining them like this. So this is not going to work. Um, what will work these are actually functions of theta a, theta phi a. Ooh, this is, someone's going to complain about my form here correctly. Um, These are actually functions of the latitudes and longitudes because of the way I'm doing things. God, that is effing ugly. And now I want to see if I have... Um, I want to see if the error comes after this, w in which case I have fixed the error. Uh, if it comes before that, I have not fixed the error. That's the... Uh, Oh, it's unhappy. Have I? Oh, wow. Okay, now I'm really confused. Uh, this should be acceptable code from here to here. That code is not broken. I mean, I could say point A, phi A, theta B, blah, 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 but that shouldn't be necessary. Okay. Why are we being effed here? Alrighty. I, I wonder if we can put an exit into here somewhere, like stop running or whatever. Let's see if we can do that instead of this after. Whoa, your mama. 
That's not what I wanted. Okay, so over here, we wanted to find this one fucking function. Exit. Stop. I don't know, does that stop it? Uh, no it doesn't apparently. Um, end? Quit? Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. How can that be unhappy with that? The only thing I'm thinking is I've defined these variables and it thinks they already exist. So one way to do that, look at that, is to see if we have, um, I don't even know if it'll accept this, but question perp, which will give you the definition of perp, assuming this works, which I'm very doubtful that it will. Global perp. Now that's interesting. Assignment. Yep, it thinks my variables are still freaking around. And I think I know why. Because I'm in in 267. Every time I do something like this, it creates a new cell. So everything from the previous cells is still here. That is effing stupid. And I'm going to save this somewhere before I start fucking with it. So this is actually, this is the problem. It thinks of this as this 267th cell. So do I just want to do, do I just want to do control all, control C, and then back over here. Saving safe. That doesn't even mean anything. Okay. So this is just in case I F with everything. Um, but I want to be, I do not want to be in, in 260, can I, can I do with the setting here? Evaluate cell, cut, copy, paste, convert to settings initialization? What does that even mean? That doesn't look good. I will figure this out. Okay. Nope, still unhappy. I do not want in one. I want to stay in cut, copy, paste to convert, clear formatting, formatting, publish, share cell, email cell to. Wow, advanced. <laughs> because that other stuff wasn't that advanced. Um, copy as, paste as, convert to unset as initial. Well, I don't know what the hell that did, so I'll undo it. Um, open this in Wolfram desktop. Um, get back to fucking in one somehow? I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, help? Uh, okay, no, that didn't want that. Insert? Okay, no. Evaluation? Now this may be what I actually wanted. Evaluate in place. Um, unfortunately, I think it's not going to work because we're still at the 283rd uh, cell. But let's see what happens. Yep, didn't like it. But maybe that's actually the correct setting at the very least. Oh, we've got to be very careful here. Control A, Control C. Evaluation, restart session. You said your kernel state values will they can be restored by reevaluating your inputs. I like the way they say that because it, all that says is if you haven't saved stuff, it's going away. Oh, shiny. Okay. I think that's a one. Let me. Oh, that might be in zero. That's kind of cool. 
Okay. That actually was not bad. That is exactly what I needed to do. Now I want to do evaluation in place. Do not keep creating new cells for me, you piece of crap. And now we hit shift return and magic must happen. That was quicker. Missing unknown. Good, good. That's exactly what I wanted. The perp has not been defined. Uh, okay, so now I think we're kind of where we need to be. Uh, I notice it now says in one, which I hope. La la la. Which hopefully is okay, but if it changes to in two, we have a problem. Um. Okay. So. I think I'm going to be happier by changing these all to thetas and fees not point A and point B. So first thing I need to do is do this. The first thing we do is kill all the lawyers, then we do a cut, and actually hopefully that's the copy I mean. Paste. Paste. And this one does depend on t in addition to these variables. And and now if all of our booya has worked correctly, I will be happy. Um. Okay. Not good. Um, since we're assigning you, oh, 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 we're not anymore. Sorry, 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 sorry. Now we need as our input uh, four angles. So in this case, we don't have to normalize our vectors because we're just using angles. Now there's a problem with what I'm about to do. And the problem is um, the if you choose uh, random theta and random phi, you are not guaranteed to get a random point on the Earth's surface because, for example, at phi equals 90 degrees, the North Pole, uh, all values of theta collapse into one point. So this is not really a random point, but it doesn't matter because we're just testing stuff. And honestly, now that we're doing that, let's see if we can do um, point ang dis theta a phi a theta b phi b. Um, given theta a phi a theta b phi b. And this should be point uh, b. I mean, it'll be the, the angular coordinates, but I mean, it'll be the spherical coordinates, but still. And then we're going to simplify that sucker with cons. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Did I screw that up? Angular distance of these two things. Oh no, that is actually. Uh, right, right. I want the angular distance to the to the point function, and then the four variables here. And I suspect I screwed that up somehow. Um, All right, let's let's be simple. Let's just look at the point then. Before simplification, and when I say before simplification, I mean before simplification. This should actually be point B. Not that you can tell from this. Dun 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 dun. I'm all excited. Okay. What's interesting? Yeah, there's no way this is going to figure out this is point B. Not cool. Uh, okay. Now, just to make sure I've got this all correct, though, I do want to make sure that point zero... Oh, that's actually wrong. Point zero should still be um, point A. And that, that really does need to be true because that is not a hard thing. 
that's not true, I'm, I'm screwed. Oh, fuck. Point zero of theta A phi A theta B phi B. And that is point A. I'm very happy about that. Um, and if I do point, now I'm going to be paranoid. Point pi should be the flip of this. It should be like the, the anti at antipode, antipode of A, which it is. Good. Awesome. And let's do this one more time. The angular distance between the two should yield point B, but if it doesn't, I'm going to try something else. Clearly doesn't know that's point B. If it's negative the angular distance, I screwed up one of my vector crosses. Okay, so it really doesn't know this is point B. So now, what we're going to do, um, we're not going to change the values of theta A just to be, you know, so random one will be theta A, and we'll just say random number from, because it's theta, we're going to say from negative pi to pi, and I hope it doesn't complain that I need to put a, uh, a thingy in front of it. It might insist that I give it a domain. Yep. All right. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I can do random real without having to put it as a parameter. So that really should work. Um, good. That is good. And if I'm feeling spiffy, I can do this. I think I can define two of them at one. This just saves like almost zero time. But this way I can uh, identify theta A and theta B both at the same time. Okay, then I'll do the same thing now for, well, actually I do want to print them. R3 and R4, which will become our phi values. A random real, this time going from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And we want two of the suckers. Okay. I'm going to keep this because I like it, but then we're going to, if you like it, don't cut it. And now we're going to say, um, if we use real numbers here, R1 uh, for theta 1, R theta R2 for theta B, got to be a little bit careful here because I chose theta and then phi. R2, and then for phi A is R3, phi B is a character on Friends. I I'm never going to get tired of that joke, sorry. R3 and R4. And I don't really need to simplify there because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real number. So now, that's, that's a drum roll. It's a very cheap attempt at a drum roll. The, u the results aren't going to be particularly useful. Oh! I think I'm going to, yeah, I, I mean, it's technically it's correct. It's saying the, that's not the problem with this, but we don't really need to simplify these. I, I, d I forgot that Mathematica doesn't have this kind of comment, so. <sighs> there. And the first answer we're going to get is going to be, oh, your mama. So somewhere I screwed up the definition of perp. So someone, someone's trying to use the definition of perp without really knowing what, what, it, what it's supposed to be. And, uh, okay, no, that should be... Point A and point B... Oh, fuck. I've made my life harder. Um, point A and point B aren't quite... Um, because these things all take four arguments, not two points. Um, so here I'm get this is fine because these are vectors defined in those two points. This is not fine because um, perp takes four individual values. And I can't feed it, I can't feed it point A and point B. 
So, this perp here needs to be the perp of theta A phi A theta B phi B, but it's worse than that. It's gonna ha that's going to happen for everything. Um, so here where I say planar, it's got to be planar of, oh man, can we do global search and replace? Um, that's not even, okay, no, that's not what I want. Ay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, to be honest with you, we don't even need point A and point B. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so this is kind of fucked up now. Um... Uh, well, fuck. I was trying to be clever. Um, but it got the best. It got the better of me. See, I was hoping we could just go through this entire formula without having to deal with functions, um, even though ultimately everything we're doing is a function. Um, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I think I can salvage this. Um, every time we see point A, point B, except here, because the cross product really is a function of point A and point B. Um, but yeah, once we've, once we've gone out of functions, yeah, we, what the hell? That was just a regular type. Now it's getting annoying. It's getting so annoying, I might have to just X you out. Delete. You be deleted? Nope. Oh, is that because I'm doing evaluate in place or some shit? In other words, it's not evaluate in place didn't do what I wanted, but it is doing what I don't want. Um, cool, we don't know what in we're in. Whoa, no. No, no, no. One more time, then I'm going to change the setting. Yep. It's trying to do an instant eval, which so, so what I wanted to do is actually not happening. Um, okay, so that's not good. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay. So we really, really don't need point A and point B. Okay, I think I said that already. So now, may I please input stuff? Okay. Theta B, phi B. Okay. Something is not right, Miss Clavel. Something is quite wrong. Um, but something is worse than that. Okay. So why is it not letting me type in here? I mean, I got I got through that one. Um, this is fine because we actually are using the point version of theta or whatever. Planar norm. Uh, this is not okay because it takes four arguments. Okay. Um, something is unhappy. Did I have a select going on? Nope. Every time I type something, it's going to jump to the end. So, not cool. So, stand by for maybe fixing. Cut, convert to set. I don't want to evaluate cell. I want to type into cell. the hell I fucked up here um no 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 oh fuck okay I'm gonna go ahead and do a restart session here in the hope that
Um, that I, it'll let me type stuff. This guy, Windows Paperclip. The fucking fox. Okay, good. Now it's letting me type. Okay, so we've got to clean this up a little bit here. Planar, norm, plane. I can't do that either because the planar is now defined in terms of theta A, phi A, theta B, phi B. And again, the planar norm is based on these four angles, and I think I might have to just go across the board on that one. Theta A, phi A, theta B, phi B. Okay. Um, I think we're okay there. The vector angle really does take two vectors. We don't have to uh, give it thingies. Okay. Now, watch this fail. Well, that's not how I expected it to fail. Cross perp has no closing. Simplify cross. Well, that should have had a conditions in front of it, but okay. So I lost some stuff here. So we're going to cross the perpendicular vector with. Nope, that's not how I want to do it. It's also not how I want to do it. With point A, which is acceptable because it is uh, a vector. Point A is a vector. And then I want to end my cross. And then I want my conditions to end. And that should, I, I get the feeling it hasn't, but I think this is what I want. Oh, there we go. It did, did okay, fix it. Okay. Um, yeah. This is pretty fucking ugly. Let's see if this works. Well, oh, um, I'm printing out maybe too much stuff now. Planer doesn't need to be printed. The points, that's good actually. But somehow it, oh, wait, 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 wait I, I missed a phi A or a phi B somewhere. Hang on. Uh, because I got a raw phi in there somewhere. Right there. Okay. 900 trillionth times the charm. I say that a lot. It's always 900 trillionth. Hey, 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 finally, I need to save this. Um, let me download it. I don't know what the hell that will do. Probably nothing, but, um, okay. So, I have no idea where the fuck we are anymore. No, actually I do. Alright, so now that we've all gotten this cleared up, we can try to do it correctly. So we want the point that has an angle that is the angular distance. I probably should have just commented that out, shouldn't I? Oh, I did. <laughs> and now you shall be uncommented and we will get rid of your negative sign. Okay. Assuming all the definitions are correct, this should be point B. Unless I've, yeah, unless I messed up a cross vector somewhere. So think, think, think. No idea if that's point B or not. Just to play it safe, we'll do neg ang distance. If that's correct, I need to flip my, um, I need to flip my vector. Uh, no idea, no way of knowing. Okay. Alright, that's cool. Okay, now we will do 
it the, the hard way. Okay, so angular distance, this point, I'm saying should be um, theta b feet, but there's no way to know that unless we convert it back into, uh, into spherical coordinates. Come on. Coordinate. Is it transform coordinates? Oh, is it unhappy with me now? Um, Cartesian, and I know it has a weird order, but that should not be an issue. To not Cartesian. Spherical of this expression. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this and this are identical. Um, no, that's not good enough, is it? No, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I, I see what's wrong here. Um, I think I did mess it up and need to do negative. This should be equal to point B, which should be this, this. So let me go ahead and do a negative angle distance, if that's correct, and fix one of my cross products. But we are home and sort of dry, but we are not. Get to that again. Point, that one's like even worse. Oh, wait, there might be a... Oh, well, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. That... This could be a precision issue, but um, what we expect to see... Um, we expect to see R2 and R4 showing up. Not necessarily in that order. And... We are seeing R2 show up, which is really nice. Um, I'm sorry, I mean R3 and R4. We are seeing R3 show up. Okay, and now we're just going to be a little bit... I'm going to go ahead and put these in the form that I actually need them. So we are expecting this to be... If we, we travel the angular distance between the two um, points, and we plug it into this, we are expecting to see point B. Um, well, yeah, and then we're converting it back to spherical. So point B here would be R2 and R4. That is what our point B should look like. Theta B, um, phi B. Okay. So the third output we get is what we expect the fourth one to give us. Kind of and it is not working. Okay. Um, all right, now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the first point is still working because usually when you do new things, it's in order to break old things. And let me see if I've successfully broken the old thing. Uh, and if I have not, then um, I think I can figure this out. Yeah, this still gives point A, which is good. Um, so, and point 2 pi should give me the same answer. So I, at least I, I'm somewhat confident. The fuck? Um, okay, no, wait, okay, something's wrong here. Hmm, this is bad. Um, This is bad. 
Well, let's see what Pi does. Maybe. Although now we are we are getting into um, some real ugliness here. There, there there might be a more serious problem here. Um. Okay, so there's. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay, I think I see it. Um, we're getting negative this, and we're getting. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. I think we got this. Um. How bad on a scale from one to bad? Not very. I think I've just flipped a vector, uh, a vector uh, cross product somewhere. And. Okay, so if I have, I mean, this is the obvious one to have flipped. Uh, that might be the, because uh, this one I'm pretty sure is correct. So this is the cross product between the perpendicular vector and A. So it does point in the right direction, I think. That's the only cross product I take. All right, but let's see if we can uh, fix this a little bit. Okay. So the fact that this number is the negative of this number, and you know what, I think I'm not going to print these anymore. I think they are too confusing because um, I, I, I kind of not didn't want that. So I want to print point A, which is R1, R3, and point B, which is R2, R4. That's much better. Those are the two points under consideration. Okay. Now some of this might be coming because we're doing, oh, you know, we, we need to mod by 2 pi, but um, yeah, this doesn't look good. All right, let me again make sure that point zero, I'm holding on to my zero, at least that's correct. Um, yeah, I kind of lost that one too, didn't I? Oh no, here we are. This is this, and this is not that. By any stretch of the imagination, this is not that. So, pretty cool. I've now lost my point zero. And point zero really is just point A. Yeah, because this sine t is going to be zero. Um, so that's just going to be point A times cosine t. times No, just point A. Literally point A. Um, so kind of bad that it doesn't want to be what it is. Um, okay. All right, Mr. Smarty Point. Mr. Smarty Points. Um, let's do this more generically. At zero, given what is your result? And it should look very nice. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. And if I want to convert that from Cartesian to spherical, coordinate transform. By the way, I'm, I'm very close to ending the stream because I'm um, not progressing anywhere, but also I'm dying of hunger because I am diabetic. So as a diabetic, I can literally die of hunger. Uh, okay. So what does it think that is? And I guess I really should have said simplify under conditions because this should just bring it literally back to um, phi a, uh, theta, theta. Okay. And by the way, sine over cosine is tan. The octan of tan is just the number itself. So this is correct, but there's one interesting factor here that is um, this is the two argument form of arctan. So this could be phi a or I think negative phi, not negative phi a, like pi over 2 minus, there's some other number that can satisfy this constraint. Uh, but it, it looks like we're in bad shape here because um, 
So we should be getting one, essentially phi A back, which is R3. I wonder, the distance between these two numbers is probably like pi or something. Um, and then theta of, we should be getting back this point, but in flipped order because they're doing it reversed. But that does not look like that's what's happening. And I am going to just rock this and say, let's see what this number minus the number we're supposed to get, which is this number. Now that doesn't look like it's going to be very exciting, but let's do it anyway. I just want this fucking number, you piece of shit. There. And if that is something that looks even vaguely like pi, I think we've got it. And that has nothing to do with pi. Um, yeah, so whatever we're doing, we're fucked. That was my official conclusion. Honestly, I don't think we're that far from the answer. I, I think there's, there's uh, some minor issues going on here that I haven't covered, that I havenven't looked at. But, I mean, we're, we've effectively done what we need to do. We've double, double cross-producted and then done the, uh, the um, sine-cosine transform. Okay. All right, it is now 2 p.m., my time. I don't know why I'm saying that. It doesn't really matter to anyone. I'm going to stop the stream now. Thank you for watching, and have a... Uh, uh, I don't know. Go fuck yourself. I don't care. I don't really give a damn. All right, that was a one-hour and 47-minute stream.